Hey everybody, we are going to show you how to make a really cool homemade sprinkler that's better than anything you're going to buy at a box store. With just a few simple supplies and simple tools you probably have around the house or know somebody who does it's really, really close. Stick around, we'll show you how to do it. First thing you're going to need is a 10 foot piece of 3 quarter inch PVC cut into four equal pieces three three quarter inch pvc caps it's they're the glue on type don't forget that a three quarter inch pvc glue to female hose connection these are a little bit tricky to find you might have to ask for some help a three quarter inch pvc cross pair of one sixteenth inch drill bits a tape measure glue and primer and a writing utensil so I'm going to figure everybody's going to have things like the drills and tape measures and writing utensils around the house. The glue and the primer, hopefully you've got that left over from something. Or again, find your local handyman. I bet he has something just hanging around just to help you out. Buy him a couple beers or something. It'll be really cool. We're going to put this thing together. Watch this. We are actually going to start on all the easiest stuff first. I always wear gloves because you get this on your fingers. It doesn't want to come off or the concrete or whatever. Let's make these easy connections first. You can get clear primer as well. It's just not that important. It's a sprinkler. That makes the pipe ready to take the next fitting. We're gonna clean the caps. And then our three quarter inch hose connector. We'll clean that. And while we're at it, we're gonna go ahead and prep the cross. When you get to the glue, put an ample amount inside the fitting and just get around the edge of the pipe on the out. All right, let's get assembling this thing. Let's clean all four pieces of our pipe off of our pipe on the other side. Okay, so now comes time for us to assemble the whole picture. This is actually not very hard. I just had to zoom out a little bit so you could catch the whole thing. This thing winds up being a little more than five foot across by the time it's all said and done. It's really, really cool. I, again, I've done one of these before. This one we're gonna do a little bit different than I did my original. Again, hold it and count to 10. Okay, so here's the next bit of coolness before we get re before we get finishing this thing off because we're almost done. Have a little bit of measuring, a little bit of drilling to do, and it's gonna be really neat. I'll tell you what. Anybody local, and I'm assuming my first handful of viewers are going to be local. At least I hope you are. Anybody local who can get the most amount of likes in the next handful of days, I will personally hand deliver this sprinkler to you. It's gonna be awesome. The kids will like it. I was hoping to have this out by the 4th of July, just things haven't quite worked out that way. So, that being said, get as many people to like and subscribe to my page, put your number that you've got in there, and I will take the highest number, we'll say in the next five days, and I'll bring this over to your house. <laughs> How about that? Let's get, let's get finishing this thing up. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. It is time to start marking these things out. Sorry, trying to see out of camera. We no longer need you. Thank you for playing. I want to drill four equal holes along the edge of this. There's along the edge of this just to do something cool. But I'm not going to drill all of the holes the same so we have a water spray pattern in different directions. So we're going to make our marks first. What I did got 28 we want to divide that by five in order to get a fairly even amount of holes 30 by 6 would put them I'm sorry 30 by 5 would put them at six inches a piece which is actually quite perfect for this we're a little smaller than that we're at 28 and a quarter end to end we're actually gonna drill the fittings out as well and gonna do something extra cool with those so our holes are going to be approximately five and five eighths inches apart. I'll go ahead and put on my glove again because I just do that. I've gotten this stuff on my hands before and it's pretty awful. 
and stinks and whatever. Five and five eighths, five and nine sixteenths. It works out to five point six five. So we'll go and close counts on this because it's a sprinkler. <laughs> And because math is not working in my head today, two, get out of the way, glue. Yeah. Double check our measurements so our math works work better next time. Okay, now we open up the drill bits. It is time. Make sure and don't lose these, and you have to be very steady with these. That's why two is recommended. You get a little bit off, these little bitty drill bits snap really, really easy. Now, I'm gonna do something. It's hard to talk around you drill. I'm gonna do something a little bit different on this, and I'm not drilling everything exactly the same. I'm gonna drill them just a touch different. You'll see why at the end result, you drill a hole straight in, water shoots straight up. You drill the, the hole at, the, at, a, at an angle, water shoots out at an angle. You shoot it in like this, it shoots out that way. So I've got a plan, it's gonna look like a really cool fountain. We'll get moving on this. Okay, now we've got the pipes drilled out, and you can do this in any way that you want to. I just showed you a little bit of an alternating pattern to give it some life, but I'm going to go back and drill some of the fittings and do something really neat with that. I think you're going to like it. Just make sure on the fitting that connects to the hose, you don't drill out where the hose threads go. It won't do anything. Let's get going on that. Okay, so I'm going to bring it just a tick closer you can see this. I'm going to take this cross fitting, find a center, and drill that bad boy all the way through. Let's clean it out a little bit. You may have to drill some of these holes a couple of times just to make sure you got all the junk out of it, but then we're going to come in here and we're going to shoot four holes in at approximately a 45 degree angle. And if you find that the holes are too small, just re-drill them with a little bit bigger drill bit. It's not a big deal. Here's, we're going to do something really cool on these ends. We're going to take this and make them squirt out a little bit. But I'm also going to drill a couple on the sides. Okay, now the hose connection is going to be a bit trickier, but we're going to go ahead and try to do the same thing here. Just stay off of the threaded piece there. That's very important. It also helps if you need glasses to wear glasses. I'm in denial that I need them, so I don't wear them. Check that out. We are done with the sprinkler. We're going to go give it a test run. As you can see, the backyard homemade sprinkler was somewhat of a success. It looked pretty cool. I mean, you can always go and buy something that costs, costs less, isn't as cool as a bigger trip hazard, but truthfully, I think it came out pretty cool. If you guys have other, other suggestions for any kind of neat things in the future, put them, down in the, put them down in the comments below. We'll see what we can do. Don't know how it's gonna go. Maybe we'll come up with something fun. She yeah! wants to say hi. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. Catch up with you soon. See you guys next time. Bye. <laughs> Think outside the box and do something cool.